Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sway, and in today's video, I am back for good. So yes, guys, I am back. Oh my god, the world is crazy, but yeah, we have to keep ourselves composed. But anyways, as you can see from the title, I'll be recreating and reacting to the first makeup tutorial that I made that was way back 2016. Yeah, 2016. And yeah, it's gonna be a fun video. So yeah, I hope you're gonna continue watching and let's just begin. It has been a long time since I've last seen this video, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel, but yeah, let's just start. Hi guys, it's me, Marcus Weimer, and today I'm going to show you how do I transform myself from this to, to this. So if you want to know how, please keep on watching. <laughs> oh my God. First of all, can we talk about the cat? <laughs> oh my god, my, I think my voice changed too. But yeah, that transition, girl, girl, work it, girl. So before anything else, I would like to inform you that I am not a beauty guru. I don't know how to do things perfectly. I'm just doing this on my preference. So if I do some mistakes, please bear with me. Thank you. No doubt. <laughs> before anything else, oh my god, ew, why did I say that? I am not a beauty girl girl it has been four years and you're still not a beauty girl but that was so cute of me to say that i'm not a beauty girl so follow as you will <laughs> okay let's check what i did for base so i'm gonna first apply my foundation base it's from nichido so i'm going to speed up a little bit so i'm gonna start with my foundation base <laughs> that's so cute this is the infallible 24 hour fresh wear this is my second bottle i love this foundation so much obviously i don't have the nishido one anymore and i'm not gonna prime because i didn't in the video and the reason why because obviously i did not know that primer was an essential thing back then and I did not have money back then also. I was a broke college girl. So I'm not gonna prime today to be accurate um, with the video. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this one and I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Also, my hair is dark now. Did you notice? This foundation is, um, it sets easily. See, that was so easy. Look at my face. It's even. I mean, here. <laughs> I'm just gonna speed up a little bit. I'm gonna do the other side off camera. The foundation base is done, guys. Look at my skin. Char. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna proceed now with the next step. I think I did not do concealer, so let's check if I didn't. Before I forgot, I put on some contact lenses first. Okay, wow. So that's weird. I don't really put lenses after putting foundation. But yeah, I'm just gonna put some lenses. I don't have the blue one, obviously, and I don't like blue now because it's very like striking. Something's in my nose, okay. So I'm just gonna use this one. This is a gray one that I have. Um, let's just try if we could get the same look. Also, I don't have like solution anymore, so yeah. Let me know if there are any optical clinics that are already open so that I can repurchase. Also, all of my lenses now have grades on them since I can't see clearly. So I can't really use like, um, like basta basta na lenses. It has to be like from a clinic. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. So I ended up changing the contact lenses because that did not give me the same effect that I wanted. So yeah. <laughs> also, I did put some concealer because my foundation was ruined in this part. That happens when you put like lenses after foundation. So you should put your lenses first. Anyways, um, yeah, we're looking cute. Let's see what I did next. Next is my eyebrows. I am done with my eyebrows. It is not perfect. I like to keep it natural. Girl, there was nothing natural about that eyebrow. Oh my god. So I'm gonna be using this one. This is my favorite brow pencil. This is from Etude. And yeah, Etude is actually closed already like in the malls. So you can buy things from like resellers. I bought this from a reseller um, from Shopee. So yeah.
Now that girl is some brows. So I'm gonna do the other one off camera and then I'll be right back. So brows are on guys. They're so cute, right? Now that's how you do a natural brow. <laughs> oh my god, my eyes are very light because since my hair is darker, the contrast is like amazing. I want to set my face so badly but you know I want to follow the tutorial that I did so let's continue. So next is some light eyeshadow. So next is some light eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using my Morphe palette and yeah I'm just gonna pick some random shades here just to match that one. Also guys I'm um, just to be like a proof of like improvement When I started my channel I did not know how to do um, eyeshadow like basing on that video girl I had no idea what I was doing and yeah that was actually the thing that um, for me was really difficult to do at first was eyeshadow so yeah um, if I can do it then so can you so just practice if you've been wanting to um, invest in makeup for a long time now do practice every day if you have the time and yeah sooner or later you'll get better at what you do so char what is this is this like a TED talk anyways so So just blend up like one color. I'm using this. I'm using this one, by the way. Yes. Um, I'm gonna pick this one out just to intensify. Okay, this is not a light eyeshadow. <laughs> gonna stop here before I do like a smoky eye so yeah this is the shadow so I think that's it for the eyes let's continue watching next is some eyeliner I like to keep my eyeliner winged just like Aragani so I'm using show really it is waterproof yeah all right so eyeliner um I like to keep my eyeliner winged because Alana Grande oh my god I love Ariana Grande since then up until now so we're gonna do like a cat eye because that's kind of her signature um however i'm not gonna use um an eyeliner today because uh i don't like i'm just gonna use um an eyeshadow to line my eyes and morphe has like the best black eyeshadow so i'm gonna use this one this is not waterproof so um yeah liner is done guys um yeah that's just eyeshadow <laughs> and let's try to see if what i did next next is some nose line okay that's a weird routine <laughs> i should set my face first before contour i'm just gonna like put the powder on my nose so that um the contour powder can lay on better there and I like to use these shades right here. Actually, this shade for contour. And my contouring game has changed, of course, over the past years. As you can see from the video, I used to blend using my fingers, but now I don't. Yeah, I just make two lines here. So like what I always tell you guys, the closer the lines are, the more pinch your nose is gonna look like also don't forget to put some powder here connecting to your brows that's gonna make a huge difference so when i did like a tiktok video of like my photos in high school compared to now some of you guys were asking if i had my nose done <laughs> i didn't i just knew how to contour or i just know how to contour my face especially my nose better i like the look when like cut the you on the nose i know this look very harsh so what you need now is some powder and then you're gonna highlight the sides like here you're kind of cleaning here and since we're at it might as well put some here and then kind of like blend it And I'm gonna highlight as well because highlighting really makes a huge difference. Um, where is 
my brush. So I'm just gonna grab this shade right here, Cosmic Buffers, here down the middle. And then the tip. Alright, so there you have it, guys. That's how I contour my nose um, now. So let's check what I did next. And I'm going to put my finishing powder from Ever Bulinet before I put my blush and contour. Gosh, finally some finishing powder. So I'm just gonna grab because I forgot to put it on my table. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this one. This is the Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade Light Ivory. And I'm just gonna set my face using this one. Okay, so this is my face so far, guys. It has been set already. And I think I'm gonna go on with blush I think basing on the last clip so yeah so yeah I think I did contour after setting my face I did not say it though I mean I think I did but not really like specifically so right now I'm gonna um, bronze these three shades wow that's so dark I am gonna go over here because it's kind of dark um with the face powder all right so what's next and some bl blush um I'm just gonna use this one i don't have a new blush palette guys um, i'm contemplating whether i should buy like a set like different blush palettes in it or blush shades but i don't know what blush palette will i buy I really like the Manami Way, the one from Lunar Beauty, but it's not on Shopee. <laughs> I think I did not highlight in the video, but I am gonna highlight now just to let you guys see the difference and how much of an impact a good highlight is. And I'm gonna do my um, mascara because I think I did not do it in the video. So I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> yes. I'm using this one from Maybelline, guys, as always. Alright, so oh my god, I love this look so much. Alright, so I did put some highlighter here as well. And I'm not gonna put lashes on because I like to keep it like simple so let's see what i did next and some lipstick from mary kate all right so let's do lips guys i'm gonna be starting first with a maybelline um liquid matte tint in the shade um birthday suit So this is our look so far guys why am I feeling this look okay so let's check what I did next I just change up to complete my look I need some wig so I bought this from Facebook wigs on sale I'll put the link down below yeah I'm gonna put this on I look so ill <laughs> Who told me to wear a cap in the first place okay so i'm just gonna like i think i'm gonna straighten my hair out just to match with a wig since i don't need a wig anymore <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna straighten this hair and i'll be right back with a finished look all right guys so i did not find the top i was supposed to wear it okay para, okay, para same shop but i did not find it so this top will do and i straightened my hair out and yeah, I'm so happy with the results and this is the finished look.
like a bass guitar Simmer down and mess me up Tripping like I'm Jimmy at Woodstock mm -hmm. Drop me around in your red Ford Shivers This is the finished look guys Let's try to check um, on how I ended my first video Let's check it out so that's it guys thank you for watching i hope you learned something from me so if you like if you like it please click like if you want to share it you can share it by clicking share if you want to delete it you can because it's my video so thank you oh that's so cute if you want to delete it you can because it's my video why did i say that but anyways this is the final video guys or this is the final look i hope you guys like it i did enjoy filming this video it's so good to be back yeah i know that the world is crazy a lot is going on right now and yeah you could get lost to it sometimes and i'm here to remind you that no matter how crazy the world is right now i know that this will pass and we could all go back to our normal lives and since we're in quarantine i'd like you guys to take the time to reflect on yourself to do what you love to start doing or to go back on doing um what you miss your passion um if you're an artist go pick up your brush go pick up your pencil and start drawing again um if you're a singer start singing again record yourself and if you're a dancer you can follow the trends on tiktok yeah i hope you take this time to do what you love and to continue your passion i know it's hard especially right now since the world is crazy we think that our dreams may not come true and it could make us feel very down sometimes but i hope you hang on because there's still a lot of things to look forward to and yeah um i hope you do what you love you continue to do what you love look at me i've been doing videos for four years and i'm still very far from achieving what i want it might take a long time but we will make it let's continue reaching our dreams together so that's it for me today guys um yeah make sure to comment down below um anything that you'd like to ask i'd love to entertain i'd like to interact with you guys also make sure to like this video and of course subscribe to my youtube channel um yeah let's make it to a thousand subscribers 1000 sui team and you could also check me out on instagram that's at sui kenyate so please make sure or please do check it out and follow me if you'd like to. I will be doing videos more often, so make sure to join the family. And yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. And remember to sway and slay. Bye, guys.